Last year around Thanksgiving, I posted a video called uh, Shelf Stable Thanksgiving. And that was basically a meal made up of a bunch of commercial components around an entree of freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini, which came from either a meal cold weather or a long-range patrol ration. So this year I figured we could revisit that idea and maybe kind of complete it by doing a review of a complete meal cold weather. And this one is menu number four, turkey tetrazzini. And it doesn't have a date code stamped on the bag, but they do have these generic white bags that all look the same, and they just print the information right here. So in addition to the menu number and the entree, it also gives you the date code, which is 4237. So this one was packed on the 237th day of 2014. Let's go ahead and see what is inside of this one. It looks like we have a fail on the peelable seal. I'll have to cut that one open. Of course, the meal cold weather, it's similar to an MRE. It has somewhat less components in it, but because it's meant to be used in cold weather environments, for the most part, nothing in here can really be frozen. It's basically stuff that can survive pretty well in a uh, cold environment, an Arctic environment. And the first component we have in here is the freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini. We have vegetable crackers, and for that we have, as a spread, we have cheese spread with jalapenos. We have beverage-based powder orange, fortified, and we also have a fudge brownie. We also have a standard MRE spoon and a MCW accessory pack. This actually has the iced tea drink mix, taster's choice, non-dairy creamer, sugar, matches, moist towelette, chewing gum, toilet paper, and the old mini bottle of Tabasco sauce. All right, and here's everything in this MCW. And we will take a look at the ingredients and the nutrition facts on the turkey tetrazzini. I'm gonna wait until we get this package open so it's a little bit easier to read. And why don't we go ahead and get started. Okay, so as I said, the entree is going to take 16 ounces of hot water. It's not a bad smell. It kind of smells like a, a dry chicken soup mix kind of a thing. So we're gonna add our two cups of water. And mix it up a little bit with a spoon. And I don't know how you can see it, but it's already looks like a really thick gravy in there. It should set pretty well. And to do that, we're going to fold the top of the bag over. And so you're going to put this off to the side and give it about 10-15 minutes to reconstitute and check everything else out. I'm going to start off with dessert and take a look at the fudge brownie. This was not too long before they started putting in the trans fat free desserts. So this should actually taste a little better than that. Yeah, we have a, looks like a chocolate brownie and it has chocolate chips in it. Yeah, it has that next package smell. It actually kind of smells like the TFF ones. Then we have the vegetable crackers. Yeah, I did not hear any hiss on that one, so that's not a good sign. They seem to smell fine, and maybe it was just not, not a very great seal, but um, despite the fact that there may have been a little bit of air in there, no extra air got in over the years. And they seem to, as far as I can tell, they seem to smell like regular vegetable crackers. Take that. All right, and the cheese spread with jalapenos. You don't want to give this a good knead. Yeah, it's a little on the... wow, I, I guess it's the jalapenos that are doing it, but it's looking a little bit uh, less than wonderful. But it does smell fine. Wow. Not the most appetizing looking thing, but it smells like standard cheddar cheese spread, and it's going to have that little extra bit with the jalapenos, so that should be nice. And now we basically just have a bunch of drinks. We have our coffee, our iced tea and our orange beverage base powder. Start with the iced tea, which takes six ounces of water. A 
lot of MREs used to come with either the iced tea or an apple cider drink in the accessory packs. I discontinued that quite a few years ago. And the orange beverage based powder takes 12 ounces of water. It's definitely become pretty granular. It does still smell basically like tang, like a, a breakfast orange drink. This smells kind of nice. It's almost like extra orangey. And we'll check out how the Taster's Choice fared. Ooh. It doesn't smell too bad, but I see some white on there, and it definitely is caked up. Let me, um, let's take a closer look at this and see if we have some dry mold. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, I'm glad I did that. I almost just poured this right in. Well, I'm not going to drink any of this, but I'm going to go ahead and make it up just for the sake of uh, having a visual of the entire meal. And I'm going to waste the uh, cream and sugar on that one. Since we're obviously not going to be drinking that. All right, now we can go ahead and take a look at our turkey tetrazzini. And now we can finally take a look at the ingredients. And also the nutrition facts. Smells pretty good, kinda, kinda sorta smells like Thanksgiving. All right, that's most of it. There's a little bit more in the package, but I think that's enough to give us an idea of what's in there. You can see that not only does this pretty much fill up the compartment in the tray, but it also is quite high. Let's go ahead and check everything out. Oh, I forgot about something in here. I was thinking this is a green beans, but let's take a look at you know, what all is in the turkey tetrazzini. In addition to turkey, obviously, there's asparagus, pimentos, mushrooms, onion powder, natural flavorings, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, seems kind of funny because Looking at it, I'm glad I looked at the ingredients because I would have said, here we have some green beans and some carrots, but apparently this is actually asparagus and pimento. Why don't we try this out? You can see the pasta in there, and uh, you can see bits of turkey. It doesn't look like huge chunks or anything. Let's give this a try. Yeah, that's good. It almost tastes like stuffing, that, uh, that gravy in there. It's a kind of a, it's a very thick, not, uh, not very liquidy gravy at all. And it seems to be reconstituted just fine. The turkey may be slightly on the chewy side, but not all that bad for something that's uh, been freeze dried. And the pasta is very, it's very like thin and delicate, but it doesn't seem to be overly mushy. You'd almost think that it's, um, since it's so small, it would, uh, it would tend to get on the mushy side, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. And some of that asparagus. So uh, this is somebody in the field. They would definitely have a reminder of this later when they went to the bathroom. This is a very good entree. I think the worst thing I can say about it is that the turkey is a bit on the chewy side. It tastes just fine. It's just that uh, chewiness gives it, you know, the consistency that's not necessarily perfect. And that could have something to do with how I reconstituted it. So from that delicious turkey tetrazzini, when we go to this less than delicious looking cheese spread, I'm gonna try the uh, cracker first. Yeah, I think it's fine. It may be slightly on the stale side. It's the fact that it's the vegetable cracker does taste slightly different than the regular ones, and I'm trying to um, make sure that I'm tasting what I should be tasting. Seems like it's fine, though. And let's try it with the jalapeno cheese spread. And that's good, too. And you get that um, kind of like a standard cheese spread kind of a, a taste, and then the heat kicks in. You get the jalapenos. The texture is a little weird because of the fact that it's um, clumpy like this. I kind of like the uh, cheese spread to be a little bit smoother. 
And it's kind of funny because when these do go bad, it does kind of look like this. It does kind of get dark, it looks more brown than orange, and it gets that sort of clumpiness no matter how much you, you need it in the package. But as I said, I'm pretty sure those things in this case are just a result of the fact that it has jalapenos. Because it seems to taste just fine. I'm going to try some of this iced tea. Uh, it has that excellent uh, MRE iced tea flavor, if you like it. And it's quickly followed by a little bit of a um, packaging aftertaste. Not nothing horrible, but I was, I was starting to swallow it. And thinking, this is really good. And as soon as the thought entered my mind, I got that aftertaste. Just a little bit of an undertone. It's uh, not great. And as I said, we're not going to touch the coffee. There's just no reason we know what instant coffee tastes like. And there's no reason to drink something that had mold in it. But now it's time for dessert with our fudge brownie. This is a very, very dense brownie here. I'm definitely expecting a very chocolatey flavor out of this one. And that's just what you get. The The chocolatey is kind of, it's not, it tastes like a real high quality chocolate. Kind of along the lines of some uh, chocolate energy bars. There's no mistaking it's chocolate, but... You kind of see the denseness in here, there's like sort of darker bits, and that actually is very much like a real brownie. You know, a dense brownie, not, you know, one that's like kind of light and airy, but, uh, yeah, it's really good. And I'm not really noticing the little chocolate chips, but obviously they're adding a little bit of extra chocolate flavor. Nothing wrong with that. And I'll try this orange beverage base drink. It's weird that it has that foam on the top. And that's good. It kind of tastes like that, um, orange drink you used to get that, um, uh, used to have at McDonald's. I don't know how many people remember that. And it's kind of like that, and as I always say, a lot like Tang. But why don't we try a little of the Tabasco on there? I wouldn't think this needs it. We'll try a little bit on here. Give it that extra heat dimension. Yeah, that really completely changes the flavor profile. If you're a fan of hot sauce, there's certainly nothing wrong with it. But when you have something that tastes this good anyway, there's really no need to doctor it up. So that was a look at a meal cold weather, menu number four, Turkey Tetrazzini from 2014. Thank you for watching.